Uh, 24. 28. Are you ladies single? Yeah. No. <laughs> you have a man? I'm married. Really? Yes. How long? 10 years. And what would you say the state of your marriage is right now? How would you describe it? The best marriage in the world. <laughs> what makes your marriage so amazing? Just our understanding for each other and each other's <laughs> needs. <laughs> what do you feel like your man understands about you? That I'm a firecracker and he just has to deal with it. <laughs> so we're dealing with a simp. Even my man, look at my man's face. No, we're dealing with a simp. We know that. Anytime you hear the word firecracker, you guys run the other way. It's a red flag, just as red as she is. Bounce. He just has to tolerate anything you throw at him. Anything. Do you have any kids? Yeah, we have two kids. But be honest with me. How does your man feel about the way you're dressed right now? He's a sin. He hasn't seen me leave the house like this yet. <laughs> he hasn't seen you? No, I got ready at my girl's house. But he's okay with it as long as I'm respectful. You see, that's why I say, yo, that's why I talked about when I talked about these red flags. Your girl, when you're talking to a girl, you have to find out how her friends move. Because look at her. She's already using her friend to get changed. So imagine what other things her friends could hide. Her friends are red flags. And her man is a simp. And do you feel like you're pretty respectful right now? Yeah. Why not? What am I doing wrong? I mean, you know... I feel like there's little left to the imagination. I mean, look, I'm a beautiful woman. I can't change that. I love myself and I like to be like this, but I don't put myself out there for other men. Yes, you don't you do. feel like being out here in this environment is any disrespect to your man? They could look, but they can't touch. What do you See, look for in a man? Just let me go back to her real quick. Just her putting herself in that position of wearing this in Miami, where some of the richest men live, it's nowhere to have your girl dress. A lot of people are gonna be talking about insecurity, you insecure man, if you don't let your girl out. No, it's just boundaries. We know how other men think, we know how they move, and you just putting yourself in this position, it shows the lack of respect you have for your man and your relationship. What do you look for in a man? Paper. <laughs> You're kidding. No. Two gold diggers. At 24, Two gold diggers. why are you so interested in a man's money? I mean, he has to be like, you know, taking care taking of me. Taking care of me, yep. Of you should me send my water. So, man, being back, that you angry. both live in LA, how much would you expect him to make? Um, at least enough to take care of me. <laughs> so, let's say I was your man and I was taking care of you. What would you do for me if I'm paying for everything? Nothing. Um, sit at home, cook, clean. Sit at home, cook. Glock, glock, glock. That's, that's, that's all I'd get in return. What else do you want? Support in my business or oh, yeah. helping me grow. Of course. Number one cheerleader. What's your age? I'm 24. Are you single? Number one cheerleader. I am. Why do you think that is? Um, I'm very picky with men that I choose to date and I have high standards, so the I'd usual. rather be single than be with someone that I don't respect or want to be with. AKA, I have a lot of people in my DMs, but the men that I want are high value. Also, the men I want have to deal with my bullshit and everything that comes with me. And if they can't deal with it, they gotta go. Little does she know that the higher value the man, the less they're gonna deal with a woman's bullshit. You know, she has some kind of youth to her still. She's still 24. She has about maybe a year or two till she crosses that eh, stage. So describe your perfect man to me. How much does he have to make? 100K. He has to make at least as much as I do. Which is? Ballpark figure? Ballpark, 100K a year. 100K minimum? Yeah. How tall does he have to be? Um, I'm 5'4", and I wear heels a lot, so I would say so at, least, short ones. at least 5'11". Okay. Hey, man. Shout out all my short kings out there. I'm not that tall in stature. I'm only five, about 5'9", five, or so. But... Yo, we're up, all right? As long as you out here grinding, you working on yourself, you shooting your shots, you still could get play. 
girls will still be with it all right all that height stuff goes out the window for a lot of girls if you're attractive teeth is right hygiene is right you dress well shit goes out the window so all my short kings who think women only want guys that are six feet no i'm living proof i don't do so bad with the honeys and just work on yourself and what kind of lifestyle should this man be able to give you he should be able to provide for a family so if i am pregnant and i'm sick or going through something he'd be, he should be able to take care of me and the kids that's kind of the expectation well, realistically at 24 do you really do you want to have a kid right now no no so, so why would he need to be able to provide for a family for you to date him because i date to marry so i, Yo, I have a plan for the future i don't just so you want a guy who's already established and has you know you don't you're, you don't want the guy who's still figuring it out not currently, no, because I have it all figured out myself, so... You see, women want to move into the empire. They never want to help build the empire brick by brick, especially in 2024. Back then with your grandmother, your grandmother helped your grandfather build brick by brick. Nowadays, women want to move into the empire when it's already built. I want someone that meets that same standard. Yeah, of course. Yeah. If I wanted to take you on a first date, how much should I spend on it? No, I don't know. I don't think on that. I really don't Columbia, think on that. Columbia. I think it should be like a nice place, a so romantic Anna, place. But I don't she think of Columbia. money. You know, can be in the house. He can cook for me. Wait, on a first date, you'd be willing to come over? No. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't think of money. Like, yes, you would. I don't know. Why isn't money that important to you, though, when it comes on to him taking you out? I think it's not very important for me because I think it's more of the person and how okay. he's, he want to be with you. Okay. I okay. think. Me. I don't know. Found the good one finally. Because I'm, I'm very romantic. And what do you think? No, we're romantic. <laughs> women Why do you think you're single at 29? Sorry, for those who think that women are romantic, no. Women are not romantic. They have the illusion of romance. Men are the ones that are romantic because we are the one actively doing the romance. We are the ones doing whatever your woman thinks is romantic. We are the one performing that action. Women are not romantic. Men are romantic. Women just fantasize about romance. I think I just have too high of standards. I usual. just have a really hard time feeling someone that I really click with and that I want to spend time with. So be honest with me. What would you really say makes your means. standards so high? Um, I don't like men who like fuck around and I like a high quality man. It's really hard to find high quality men these days. What is that? No, 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 no. It's not that hard. It's just they don't want to be dealing with you. You want a high quality man, you want a rich man, you want a man with a good job. It's just they don't want to deal with your fuckery. And she probably like probably a late 20s. High quality man look like to you? A high quality man is someone who doesn't put their partying first, is really into like their health, wellness, career, their overall happiness, well traveled. That's a high quality man. How much does a high quality man make in Miami? Uh, 350k plus. 350 in a man these days. Fuck out of here. And as I told you, that's Miami. That's Miami. I mean, it should be the same over here in New York City because the prices are crazy. But this is what women want. Women want a man that makes $350,000 a year. That is the minimum as a MLB athlete or NBA veteran minimum. Women want the veteran minimum. 50K plus. <laughs> so 250K, kind of mid-tier. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, how much do you make oh, annually? Ballpark figure. 125. Okay. As we a woman, care. do you think that that amount of money makes you a high quality woman or does it play a factor at all? Not um, at all. Absolutely. I especially think in Miami, like not a lot of women work, so I think that makes me an extremely high quality woman. No. So if you make that much, how much do, does your man have to make bare minimum? Um, I actually really don't care how much he makes as long as he's like motivated, but more than me. She doesn't care how much she makes, but as long as he's highly motivated, but she makes 125, so at least 200,000. Now, even though most oh, women don't money. work here, according to you, do you think most men are looking at your income as a woman to determine whether they like you or not? No. Not at all. What do you think they're looking at? 
Um, the, if you have a kind heart and are a good person. Well, I would like to think that. I'm a hopeless. Yo, my man in the back is just like, you check me out. I'm in the white range. How you talking about? High quality was good. You said 200, I make 250. <laughs> That's a beautiful car though. Romantic, so I would like to think that, but I don't really know, I'm single. So it's clearly something's not working for me. No, I think that you just need to I find standards. a Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. This is how women keep women single. She's trying to admit that she has something to work on. And here her friend interrupts her that says, no, you don't have to change anything. You don't have to change anything. You're perfect the way you are. Let's listen to what her friend has to say. Both single, by the way. Things not working for me. No, I think that you just need to I find, find a man that's gonna yeah. meet her standards. No. What are your biggest red flags in a 28 year old man? If you don't got your shit together, you're cut. None. And what does that look like? Being broke, not having a car, not Those having, guys. you know, a job, hustling. <laughs> so you could never date a man who didn't have a job? Absolutely not. You think a man would date you if you were broke and you were hustling and you didn't have a job though? I will never be broke because I've been working my ass off since I was like eight years old. I provide in the home. There we go. And, um, you would have to be up to my standards. I mean, she has a simp man. This is what her man has to deal with. And this is what her man chose to deal with. I mean, I agree. Nobody respect broke men. I used to be broke. Nobody respects broke men. Nobody likes broke men. Not even your mama. But, you know, women, this is what women expect. This woman's uh, 2024 minimum is. But let's think, hypothetical-wise, do you think a man would look at that when it comes on to wanting to take you seriously? Yes because your job as a man is to provide and to protect. Then he wouldn't care about how much you're making. Exactly. I like so how my man always talks to the more attractive to provide girl. For me and my <laughs> he kids. just doesn't even but talk to I the But I would not be girls. in a relationship like. <laughs> while my kids are still young because I don't want to rely on a man ever. I have my own stuff. He just yeah. needs to provide for himself. And if he would like to be in my life, he would have to provide for me. And how old are your kids? I have an eight-year-old and a three-year-old. Do you have any kids? No. No. <laughs> so let's say you were to get pregnant right now. How would you handle that situation? Um, wait, abort. What? No. That's wild. Damn. Oh, can I even say that? You're crazy. <laughs> you said if I was to get pregnant right now, how would I handle the situation? Yeah. Abortion. I would <laughs> just handle it. Sense. I wouldn't get an abortion. Can you speak up for me, sweetheart? I said I would just handle it. I wouldn't really get an abortion. She's fired. No, why would you go that route as opposed to you dealing with it? I'm not dealing with it. The doctors can deal with it. Yo, she's wild. And why would you just handle it? Because... I'm of age. I'm at the <laughs> Yeah, I feel we are pretty young. Yeah, so. it's a lot of responsibility for us. Uh, yeah. How's dating in Iran, Middle Eastern culture, as opposed to the U.S., in your mind? Um, much, much different. You don't have as much of a range of options. It's kind of like arranged marriage. So we have a lot of freedom in America where we can choose. We can date before we marry. Usually in Iran, you just have to pretty much get married right away so you don't have a choice so do you think it's better to choose your partner and have free will or to go the arranged route and just hey, you know be Miami's locked in wild, honestly yo. <laughs> the men wild. out here are kind of making me second guess that but i would originally i would say it's nice to have that freedom of choice but sometimes it's kind of hard being so selective because you don't know who's a good guy like they show one side of them in the beginning and then they're really another side so i guess Maybe arranged would be easier, um, but obviously I respect that I'm able to decide living here. And how does an arranged marriage even work? Um, essentially, it's someone that your like friends, your family friends know, and they recommend that person. And then your parents, they kind of come over to your family's house and meet with that person and understand their morals and values, and then. They pretty much arrange to get married. 
see the problems with her she got a good head on her shoulders but like she said she's she's very picky she's 24 and she dates to marry so she she's she's kind of going the right way but i hope she doesn't say this in the first dates because this is how you chase men away but uh she's beautiful as you can tell middle eastern women are some of the most beautiful women in the world arranged marriages do work in those cultures so maybe she should go that route maybe it's best for her after that if they uh, if they like the person so it's kind of like a your parents decision almost if i was your man yeah you yes, yes me yes <laughs> what would i need to pay for pay what would i need to spend my money on for you go to restaurants, in flowers. I love flowers. And spend the time with me. <laughs> she's so So good. She's just wholesome. when we go up. She's the most wholesome one out of all of us. She's really genuine, just really care about love. Go to eat, I pay for it, and get you flowers every now and then. No, every no, every day, no. And not always you can, you can pay you. I also can me, pay me. So I'll pay for me and you'll pay for you too when we go on yes. dates sometimes? No, always, but yes, sometimes. Do I have to pay for your nails and your no. hair? No, of course not. We are not like that in Colombia. How are you in Colombia? No, I don't know. How do you guys do it there differently than here then? You guys pay the nails and the hair? Yeah. yeah that's what most men do. They're supposed to be a provider, right? Wow. I don't know. I don't think of that. Damn, I pay my so nails. Humble. I pay my hair. No, what if I wanted to do it for you? If you want, it's okay. I was feeling yeah. very afortunada. Uh, I don't know how to say. Fortunate. Okay. <laughs> but what if we were married? Would I then no, have to I pay for it? Different. Yes, I think it's different because we partake money and I think it's different. It's a different situation. How long have you been in your relationship? Three years? Oh, yes, she is three years. Oh, okay. Is okay, there any reason why you think he hasn't... My bad, y'all. I jumped the gun. She is in a relationship. Damn. I didn't... Uh, Posed yet. Uh, uh, don't judge a book by its cover. No, I feel like we just, like... We're just kind of, like, taking things day by day. We don't... We're not in a Yo, rush. that range is wildin'. <laughs> but you said you were how old again? 29. Oh. 29. Yo! This Range Rover almost killed us! Every relationship goes through like that its ups wilder. and downs. And <laughs> Yo! Shorty got hit with the range. That's wild. There have been challenges and we've just decided that together we're willing to work through it. I think it takes, you know, both parties to want to work through the relationship. And, and do you feel like that's what you have now? Yeah, I think we're working towards it. I think it's been, it's been Haley knows it's been you know a little bit of a. It's been a rocky road. Yeah. Away. Look what your competition is in Miami. For all you people that want to move to Miami just to live, you're gonna be workers. You have to be rich to live in Miami. Cause look at one, you heard what this woman wants in a man, at least two hundred thousand. And then look at what's around. Look at the cars. You got a Maserati to the right. You got a Range Rover to the left. And you got a what? A Lamborghini or Ferrari across the street, lime green. This is your competition, guys. And for all you men that are in high school and with girlfriends and think that you guys are gonna be together, as soon as you guys graduate. Wait, your girl is eligible to compete with these women to get these type of men. A lot of ups and downs. Yeah. No skilled, what's that quote? No skilled sailor ever. Oh, all skilled sailors have braved the storm. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we're willing to put in the work, you know, you? in the relationship. So what? I feel like that's what, I don't know. I think personally, like, the way to find your best partner is to find someone that's like willing to fight for you and be with you. So don't think you need the government to put a title on your love. Absolutely not. But you've been on an emotional roller coaster for three years. Do you think on year six it's going to be the same or change and get better? No, I wouldn't say it's been an emotional roller coaster. I think that I personally have seen a lot of change and it's for the better. She's a great girl. <laughs> Amazing human. Okay. Um, so there's no time limit on marriage for you? Well, I think, you know, as a woman, I definitely have like an internal clock, of course. If there's one thing white women live to do, and that's to marry. White women is high school, do they think in high school, college, 
do they think in college find somebody maybe in college or when they graduate after when they graduate college they find somebody at work they most likely become teachers or some shit and then they get married a white woman who's not married by late 20s they parents already looking at them like white woman whole thing is marriage and family but i would never want to rush something if like the timing didn't feel right do you have any idea of how much you'd want your wedding ring to cost if he were to propose to you? Mm. Ooh, that's a, yeah, that's a really good question. Um, oh, 3x month salary. So take their month salary and times it by three. Is that what it's supposed to be? That's like an old timey <laughs> oh, thing. Oh, I have no idea. I yeah. But it, yeah, single I mean, honestly. Three months of his. Oh, she said a single and 29. You feel me? She, she's, And the older she gets, men are not going to want that at 31, 32. Annual salary. Yeah, so like we made like 5000 a month. That'd be like 15k. But it should be more than like, that. Yeah, we're in like Miami. I don't know. <laughs> <Should> <laughs> that. That's crazy. Okay, ladies. I want a real diamond, not a lab Yeah, not, uh, not a lab one. She will know the difference. How challenging is dating at 24 as a single mom? I would just, it's not... It's not a lot of good men out there, so it's challenging. <laughs> it's hard to find decent men. Well, do you think it's easy for a man to meet you and then accept the fact that you already have a child? Yeah, the right man will. And if you got a problem, then you ain't the man for me. No. Well, there's a lot of men ain't the man for you then, because if you're a real nigga, you, there's no way you take care of another man. If you're a real nigga, there's no way you take care of another man's seed. How much do you expect that man to be bringing? Does he need to be established, or, or can he still be working on it? And you fulfill my needs. It don't matter how much he's bringing, as long as he fulfills certain needs. That's all. So he could be making 60k as I as a manager. What he's making, it's none of my business. Whatever, as long as you bring what you need to bring to the table, you gotta get done what you gotta get done. I don't care what you're making. No how? Okay. Right. Now, how soon would you expect Cheers. this man? To, well, how soon would you want this man to meet your child? Not soon. It would take a while. Bare minimum, how long? It would take a while. I've never brought another man around my son. And how old is your son? Respectable. Two and a half. Okay. Respectful. Now, when it comes on to co-parenting, is this something that you still do, or? That's complicated. That's a, that's a long story. Mm. <laughs> Hold on one second for me, ladies. How long was your last relationship? Almost four years. Did you decide to leave him, or did he leave you? It was actually kind of mutual, like we both kind of fell out of love and we both decided it wasn't healthy anymore and we needed to move on. So what caused you to fall out of love with him? What caused me to fall in love with him? Fall out of love. Oh, out of love. Um, I think like he, I think honestly the cultural difference for me, um, he didn't really understand a lot of values that Middle Eastern people for example for example um, like a man kind of stepping up when you do have a family like the things that we would discuss when it's time to have a family he didn't understand <laughs> that you know the man should kind of step up if when it, it's time to have kids and things like that and that's not something that I guess I was raised believing mm, that's true if, if you don't see no future in a man and like her she dates with an intent to marry then yeah, I mean, if a guy's not on your level, you have to get up out of there. And I just didn't want to continue if um, there was going to be a clash later on in the future. So the man you're looking for now, what does he need to understand when it comes on to your culture? Oh, boy. Um, he needs to understand that he needs to respect my culture and understand that. And if he can't kind of follow that, um, those beliefs, then it's going to be harder for us to continue a relationship, so. So does she know that also in her culture, men are allowed to have multiple wives? If we could respect that, then we are good. If I, I respect your rules, but I'm also going to take full advantage of your beautiful Middle Eastern rich culture. And that's men can have multiple wives. When you have sex on the first night with a man, what do you think he thinks about you? Um, I actually don't think, I think if it's the right person, they won't like judge you for having sex on the right <laughs> night. I mean, on the first night yeah, at I don't all. Yeah, judge. Um, but yeah, that's just, yeah, I agree. I think that, you know, 
I think if also, a man saw you, like, saw it as something that was negative, then I heard he's when a just man not the first, right person then. I, saw, I heard you. when a man, like, first meet you, he, like, puts you in a category of, like, a yes or a no, and if, like, he just knows right away and sleeping with him on the first date won't change his mind. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is pretty fucking no. That is pretty dope. But nah, sometimes instances can change. You know, like sometimes things can change. I ain't gonna lie. But we do place you in a category and maybe you can get up out of it. And, and both categories you can place up. You can get out of it. Place you out of the side joint category or in the main wifey category. And I ain't gonna lie. I've had an experience recently where one was in the side joint category and she's literally climbing herself out that box and going to a uh, wifey category. So it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. That's what I've heard. Old theory. No. Yeah, if so I'm... Am I right? Like the second he meets you and like girlfriend made possibility or not at all. Some men tend to think yeah, that way. Like sleeping together won't change his mind. What? Yeah. How do... But how do women look at men? What categories do they place them in? I like know right away if they have potential or not, just based on like, I could, again, 29 and single, so. Drive motivation. Yeah, um, drive motivation. I like know right away based on like a few things they tell me. Like, yeah, like what they're looking to get out of life. How so. engaged they are, I think, yeah. with you. And if they're asking you yeah. questions, I think, that's huge. That's dope. But to touch on her last point, no. A woman wants a man to give her him his last name. A woman wants a man to buy him a big old ring. A woman wants a man to buy him a big old house. A woman wants a man to buy him cars. A woman wants a man to take care of her and the family. A woman wants a man to take her on trips. A woman wants a man to be her whole world. So as a man, I also need to chase you. No, 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 no. As the great Kevin Samuel says, I wholeheartedly believe a woman, if she wants all of this, if she wants a man, of course, I'm not talking about the first quarter stage, and I'm talking about later in the relationship and during the relationship. If a woman wants that specific man to marry her, she needs to be the one making the efforts to, to make sure that he marries her. Because again, women attain the rights to sex and men hold the keys to relationship and marriage there is no marriage unless a man says yes if a man does not want to marry you you will not be married so i disagree with her saying that a man has to do this and this and that yes at the beginning stages a man should do some courting but if a woman wants to specifically marry with that man she needs to be the one making sure that he marries her because at the end of the day there is no marriage without men again guys i always appreciate each and every one of you guys coming in here liking commenting and checking out the video of course as usual you guys go ahead like subscribe comment because it always means a lot more to me than it ever means to you so till next time guys we're gonna holler we're gonna talk stay humble stay consistent stay great